All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, all praise and glory go on to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakak Kwadash, double honors on to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule exceptionally well. Also, Shalom, salutations, mercy, and blessings to you, sincere brothers that's out there that push this word with truth and with faith. My name is Thabawa Amath of Great Millstone Northwest. Um, I want to basically touch up on a scripture that I, I used to bring this out uh, quite often um, some years back, but uh, I, I need to, as the apostles say, uh, shake off the dust on this scripture, all right? Uh, and the scripture is uh, Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, verse 2. Vanity of vanities, saith the preacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. And truly, everything that this world has to offer is indeed uh, vanity, all right, and we see the word here is habal, all right, um, you can either take the first one, doesn't matter, it's written in here a couple times, you see it, habal, 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 Strong's H, 1892, all right, um, and uh, what the definition says for for it is emptiness or vanity, all right, figuratively, figuratively something transitory or unsatisfactory, often used as an adverb altogether vain and vanity all right things that are vain is exactly that they're they are empty they they hold no value man they hold no value it's 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 a uh a empty water bottle with no water in it all right a empty water bottle with no water in it while you're dying of thirst that's what that's that's the equivalent of vanity and that's what this world really has to offer all right. And the, the main reason this is even uh, heavy on my mind is because most people that you see out there on your day to day adventure um, that you come across, most people are just apps. Their whole entire life is absolute. It's absolute vainness, man. It's it's they, they it, there's nothing. There's nothing regarding the Heavenly Father in their day to day walk. All right. There's nothing that's trying to give any type of credit. Or get on the good side of Yahawashai at all in any part of their walk, which is vanity, man. If you're if you're not uh, going after Yahweh Hashem Yahawashai, then 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 you have no you have no place. All right, your your name's not in the book of life, and you have no place, man. Okay, so a vanity, all is vanity, man. All these people are obsessed with. Um, being vain, being wanting recognition from strangers on social media, you know, uh, to the to the point where that dictates their whole life. You got people that will they care about social media so much that they will go and commit suicide based off of you know what somebody on social media said to them, man. All right, so what somebody on on Facebook or on Twitter has said to them, or they didn't get enough likes and and what have you. All right. So there's a there's a lot of vainness out there. But realistically, we're supposed to be searching for this truth, man. We're supposed to as, as an Israelite. All right. As an Israelite, you're supposed to be searching for this truth. Israelites being so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. All right. I'm going to switch apps. All right. I like uh, I like the way this app navigates a little bit better than um than the blue letter. I'm going to switch apps and I'm going to jump to uh, the book of plus it has the apocrypha on it. This is uh, Matthew chapter 16. Uh, verse 26, which says, I wanted the blue letter for the word to go into the word vanity. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 16, verse 26. It says, for what is a man, what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And that's a valid question, man. All right. That's a valid question that people are not asking themselves because what you're doing right now if you're super overly involved with social media, with getting likes, with creating uh, uh, content just for the, the purpose of, of getting recognition from others over the Internet. All right. With some persona that you have made up, you're trying to you're trying to gain something that realistically is not worth anything, man. And it's not as if you're really presenting yourself, man. Hey, people, people say it time and time again. You can be anybody you want to be on the internet man that's why you got so many uh things like internet trolls all right you, you got to realize you got to recognize the hypocrisy that's in this in this uh in this world in this current uh world that we live in man because people when you're out in public 
people try to be the most nicest people that they can possibly be man they put on a fake smile they'll hold the door open for you you know they'll tell you have a good day and you know they like go over the top to tell you uh something about uh, some type of holiday or whatnot wishing you uh some type of merry christmas <laughs> that's that being the season that uh, uh it's in currently right now as i'm making this video um you know they they they'll go over the top for all this uh in in this in the sense of of uh making it seem as if they're they're a nice or a good person then they go home and they get on that that computer or they they pop on that cell phone or that tablet all right and they get on the internet and they become the most wicked and evil people uh uh on the planet man got all kind of all kind of shit to talk all right got all kind of uh uh hateful and mean things to say but when they're in public, when they're when they're right there face to face, oh, they're 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 nice, man. They you know, they they equate themselves as an angel. When realistically, all they are is a devil, man. That's and that's what that's what's going on. All right, these people. What are you profiting? You're profiting this 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 internet um um recognition, this internet uh, persona, this internet uh, uh feeling of 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 um of uh, boldness and, and comfort. All right. But in real life, you, you're you you're weenie. All right. In real life, you're 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 very soft, man. In real life, you don't you don't present yourself as a uh, masculine man. All right. But over the Internet, you present yourself as a masculine man or in real life. You don't present yourself as some type of assertive uh, woman that, you know, uh, 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 has has comments and, and two cents to say. You know, in real life, you're real quiet and shy, but you get on that Internet and it's a whole it's a whole nother animal, man. All right. That's worse than the the liquid courage that you get from liquor. Getting that Internet, man, being able to 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 be anonymous, to make some type of profile, make a name, but don't really have to post your picture up. All right. And that that's the hey, that that type of vanity right there. It's causing a lot of hypocrisy. And these people are doing nothing but um uh, uh proving it. That they 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 that they are not gonna have any type of profit, man. All right, that they they their hearts are not towards Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai. All right, let's go to uh, the book of Job, chapter twenty-seven, verse eight. All right, it says, "Um, for what is the hope of the hypocrite, though he had gained when the Most High take away his soul?" Right. So so what's what's the hope of that hypocrite, man? All right, look, you're gaining this recognition. You're gaining your your uh, consolation, man. You're gaining your prize, being that you're getting thousands of thumbs up on Facebook, man. All right, you got you got you got uh uh all these Instagram followers or whatever. All right, you're gaining that. You're gaining that, and you got it, man. But when the male side takes away, your, what are you gonna do when when the trouble happens, man? What are you gonna do when the internet gets cut cut off? All right. All that shit you was talking. What what are you gonna do when the internet get cut off? What are you gonna do when people actually start popping up at your door, man? For all the shit you've been talking, all right? Because you don't have the heavenly Father uh, to to protect you. You don't have the you know Yahweh Shai that's batting for you, keeping those type of demons away from you. So what what the hell would you do, man? All right. Um. Uh. It says. It says. Um. Actually, that was the point right there. Uh, I'm going to jump to the next scripture. I, I could continue, but I'm going to go ahead and just uh, keep it moving and jump to the next scripture. So that way this video doesn't turn out um, longer than I want it to be. This is Psalms chapter 49. Where are we at? Psalms chapter 49 verse uh, verse 7. All right. It says, um, this is not what I thought it was going to be. Salakia. Salakia. Sometimes I'll be trying to look up stuff and... The scripture that I find is quite different from what is actually I, that that just that's on me. That's on me. All right. I need to do better uh, fact checks on some of these scriptures I'm looking up. Salakia, this isn't what I'm looking for. Let's uh, let's keep it moving, though. Let's go to Psalms chapter uh, 12. Verse 11. No, nope, there is no 11. So that's not what I'm looking for either. Maybe that's in Proverbs. Maybe Proverbs, man. Just just bear with me real quick, please. Bubba Kasha, just bear with me real quick. Let me see. Okay, this is looking better. So this is uh this is Proverbs chapter twelve, verse eleven. It says, He that 
tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread. But he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. And that's this world, man. This world, everybody that's partaking uh, with this madness that's going out there in the world, man. Everybody that's, 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 that's not involved with the truth, what you're doing is you're following some type of vain person, all right? Which means that you're void of understanding. If you had any understanding, especially if you're an Israelite, if you had any understanding, you'd be getting down with the program, man. You'll recognize what your Hawaba Shimmy Shai got in store and, and you would get down with the program. Regardless of if they saying that, you know, uh hates if regardless if they crying of hate speech, regardless if they crying of terrorism, regardless if they crying of anything that they crying. All right. You gotta realize that the, the most hateful race of people on this planet by far, by far, is the Edomites, man. And the only reason they're making some type of a um of a of an outcry uh, is because it's them that that is going to get the, uh, the the worst end of the stick, man. All right. It's them that's going to get the worst end of the stick. That's the only reason they got anything to say about it, man. But we as Israelites, we're not supposed to be vain creatures, man. We're supposed to actually have uh, substance with us. All right. And that substance that we can get in this day and age is is the, the spirit. All right. We're supposed to be filled with the spirit of the Lord, man. All right, and there's a couple of scriptures that that prove that that I'm gonna grab, and then I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. This is Romans chapter eight, verse nine. All right, it says, um, it says, "But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit." So if, uh, I'm sorry, if so be that the spirit of the heavenly Father dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shai, he is none of his, and that's the point. All right. If you don't got that spirit of Yahweh Shai, it's because you're not a part of Yahweh Shai's program, man. You're not in his hand. He said all that's in his hand, he lost none, all right? All that was given unto him, he didn't lose any, except for the one that was that was, that was was his lot to, to be uh, 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 given away. And that, uh, speaking about Judas Iscariot, all right? That person already came. Everybody else is in the hand of Yahweh Shai still, man. They're still found in that book of life, all right? So if you believe yourself or if you hope for yourself to be in that book of life, you're supposed to be filled with the you're supposed to be filled with uh, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. Not that vain spirit that the world offers. All right, that empty everything these people do it, it amounts to nothing, man. Going and and going to work for Esau that amounts to nothing. Cause what are you doing? You're just getting yourself further into debt. Going into college, you're just getting yourself further into debt. All right, learning about learning about lies basically because Esau's not telling you the truth. It's not as if you go to the college and you learn about who the Israelites are. It's not as if you go to college and you learn about uh, what is what has gone on in our history. Only thing you learn about is, is Esau uh, uh, robbing, uh, pillaging, and murdering, man. All right? That's that's the only thing you, you find out. So we're supposed to be spilled, filled with the Spirit because through the Spirit, we found all this information, man. Through the Spirit, we was able uh, to recognize that we were Israelites. All right? And 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 to to be able to uh, uh, expand the truth as far as as it has, uh, as it has gotten, you know, through the mercy of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, this is um last scripture I'm gonna grab. This is Galatians. Um, this is Galatians chapter five, and I'll go and start at verse sixteen. All right, it says, uh, "This I say then, walk in the spirit." And ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. All right? Because the lust of the flesh also brings about vanity, man. People following vanity, uh, uh, for the most part, they're following after their own lust. Okay? It says, uh, for the lust, I'm sorry, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under uh, the law and what he's speaking about is um, under those those laws that's going to uh, uh, straight up condemn you, man. All right. Th th what he's speaking about right now is grace, which the Christians and the Catholic Church has to have a, 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 a twisted and perverted uh, version of man. All right. Because they think that every single law, statute and commandment that that's been written is all done away with. And that's not the case, man. All right. That's that's not that's not nowhere in the scriptures. Does it say that? All right. But when he's speaking about you not being under the law, there's certain things that's out of our control, man. Plus the elect, as as uh my camp leader and uh, the 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 um uh the the elder of this region, uh Yura, as he says, 
uh, all the time. The elect can do no wrong, man. And the reason why is because these sins are not the sins ain't going to be um, uh, uh, counted against them, man. All right. The laws that 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 they happen to break on a day in and day out, not on purpose, but that they do happen to break. It, it's it, the heavenly father is not going to count it against them. And Yahweh Shai has paid for those sins. All right. So that's that's what's been spoken about here. But anyway, um, that's the point, man. I, I just wanted to touch on vanity once again. Had to, uh, you know, dust dust off that scripture Ecclesiastes one and two because this world is full of nothing but 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 vanity, man. Nothing but emptiness, you know. And as Israelites, we're not supposed to be empty. We're supposed to be filled with the Spirit of the Lord. Hey, Lord willing, this has been edifying, man. Until next time, Shalom.